Hey guys, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Flash Season 6 review series and today I'm going to be talking about episode 11, Love is a Battlefield and I thought this episode was a little bit better than episode 10. The only highlight of episode 10 for me was seeing John Diggle and Barry Allen working together which was a nice little treat and it was cool to see David Ramsey back as always and we got a little setup for who the main villain could be for this season and that's none other than the Mirror Master but episode 10 was more or less just about establishing the post-crisis and seeing the show dealing with the aftermath of the crisis event as we now settle into the new Earth that Oliver helped create which is called Earth Prime but as I said this episode wasn't too bad a little bit better than episode 10 and this episode was very heavy Valentine's Day so to speak and that's okay but you know at the same time could probably do without it but Overall, I would say this episode was pretty decent. So, with that all said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about episode 11, Love is a Battlefield. So, we see Iris steps out of the mirror that she was briefly trapped in, that we saw at the end of episode 10. And the next morning we see her making pancakes for Barry Allen as a way to celebrate Valentine's Day early, which takes him by surprise. Barry and Iris remember that they had a reservation planned for Valentine's Day and decide to book another one early so they can celebrate the holiday without any interruptions. They then go to the restaurant where Barry is very surprised that Iris speaks Italian. Amunet Black crashes the party and begins to leave with some sort of stolen technology. Barry tries to arrest her as a CCPD officer, but she refuses and threatens to tell everyone that Barry Allen is really the Flash if he doesn't let go of her. Barry decides to investigate, but Iris volunteers to do so instead. Iris goes inside of a bar that they know Amunet frequently hangs out at and catches everyone's attention when she asks for Amunet. A bouncer confronts her, but she breaks a bottle over his head. The bartender finds this very impressive and gives Iris information on Amunet's location. They find Amunet who is confronted by Goldface who she used to date. Barry and Iris realise that Amunet and Goldface are starting a gang war. Amunet and Goldface begin to argue about their relationship but are confronted by CCPD agents. Iris investigates the two devices and realises that they are connected to some kind of rare plant that has been shipped to the central city, Orbidum. Barry asks Iris about why she's been acting different and she explains that she's grown up in the time leading up to crisis and deserves not to be sidelined anymore. She starts crying and leaves. Iris visits Amunet and offers her her help in the fight against Goldface. Iris explains that the plant has pollen with the ability to read minds and Amunet confirms it. Iris says she wants to use the pollen for herself to read Barry's mind and Amunet thinks that's a good idea. Barry then meets with Joe and asks for advice about what's going on with Iris. Joe says that part of being in a relationship is continuing to grow together and communicate with one another. Amunet tells Iris about how she and Goldface wanted the Orchid to be their biggest score. They find the Orchid and Amunet attaches the pieces together to create a weapon which Goldface quickly intercepts. The fight ensues and Barry arrives to save Iris. He then tries to get Amunet and Goldface to communicate but it doesn't work. In the fight the pollen from the Orchid gets on both of them and they're able to tell that they still have feelings for each other and begin to kiss. Also in this episode we see Allegra and Frost meet at CCPN. Allegra complains about Valentine's Day in part because of an ex who had brief previously broken her heart. Frost decides to help Allegra and the guy get back together. They find the guy at Jitters where he's very clearly in a relationship with the barrister. Allegra gets upset and leaves. We then see Nash Wells visit Frost and she's very sad about Valentine's Day. Frost worries that she's unable to become a good person but Nash comforts her. He suggests trying to get through to Allegra again. 
Frost visits Allegra and apologizes. Allegra tells her story and says that she ghosted her ex because she was afraid to tell him she's a metahuman. Frost suggests that they try to reconnect. Allegra does that and tells Frost that it went well and that she and her ex are going to be friends. Oh, that's nice. Nash later arrives and reveals that the Allegra of his Earth was his daughter and Frost offers to talk to him whenever he needs it. Nash looks across the room and sees an alternate version of Wells who vanishes in the blink of an eye. Hmm. I love Tom Cavana. He's a brilliant brilliant actor and I've said many times before Tom Cavana could very well be the best actor in the entire cast of The Flash and that's all due respect to Grant Gustin and the guys but Tom Cavana is such a versatile actor he can play any role and he makes each one of those roles feel so different to the other and in my opinion they're very very lucky to have that guy on this show and I think personally if he ever left I think the show would be in very very big trouble because in my opinion he's probably the glue that's holding it all together so as we wrap up this episode we see Iris and Barry celebrate Valentine's Day but little do they know that behind the mirror we see the real Iris looking on the inside very sadly and that's how the episode ends so it looks like the Iris that stepped out of the mirror, and that's with Barry, is a mirror version of Iris West, and the real one is trapped behind the mirror where she was captured at the end of episode 10. Now this should be very, very interesting, and this makes for quite an interesting second half of season 6. So, overall, pretty decent episode. Little bit better than episode 10. But overall, I quite enjoyed this one, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to build up Mirror Master for this season, and whether or not Barry is going to work out that the Iris he's with is not the real one. So I'm going to wrap this up now. What did you think of episode 11? Did you think it was good? Was there anything you liked? What's your thoughts on Iris being trapped behind the mirror? Do you think he'll find out that the iris he's with is not his iris? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will be back next time for another edition of the Season 6 Review Series where I'll be talking about Episode 12. So until next time, take care, everybody, and stay safe.